Alright, what's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Hope all you guys are good. And yeah, today pretty pretty excited, really really excited. I uh, just received my my modiage from Flying Robot. So yeah, I just took them out. And yeah, basically it's just gonna be like a quick little video of diving into uh, my build here. How long is this song? I'm excited. RSA fishing you. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, the song's done, man. Um, so yeah, um, I'm apologizing. I did a, um, I did an unboxing last week of of the frame itself. Uh, when I show you, when I include everything in the, the iFlight Bumblebee frame, uh, this is it right here. I already put it together. Um, I am going to do a video, a standalone video, or like a whole build video, you know, actually like build video itself. Um, about how I put everything into this frame. Well, today is basically just uh, want to share my happiness with you dudes <laughs> about this build. I've been I've been planning this build for quite a time now, and yeah, it's finally come. Um, and yeah, as everybody knows, I fly five inches most. I hate, I actually hate tiny whoops. Uh, they're fun, but you know, just to a certain point. And yeah, it's, I'm not going to do too much speaking, so I don't want to make this a long video. Um, so yeah, let's dive right into it. So um, yeah, since my other video is down, I'm just going to do another, uh, another shout out again. Uh, guys from Drone Masters, Gary, um, thanks a lot so much, dude. Um, for I know like with this whole coronavirus thing has been going on and stuff stuff has been flying off the shelves here in South Africa um, you know in FPV shops and all that stuff so yeah we're pretty much cut off um, you know to get any stock into South, to South Africa at the moment you know with all the import stuff going on with the coronavirus and you know all that stuff um, so um, yeah, there was, this was like the last, sh like the frame itself on, on, on the shelf. Um, so he kept it one side to me, uh, you know, and it's got sent off to me. And I really, really appreciate that, dude. And yeah, today my motors came in the post, all of them flying robots. And thanks, Alan, for the quick help last night. Um, up from last week, I didn't know a thing about Cinewoop, so, you know, I was kind of dumb. Because uh, I've only been flying 5 inches like my whole life since I've started. I haven't flown anything else but a 5 inch. Um, so yeah, he helped me through a couple of little stuff. You know, just about what motors to get. And you know, all those small little thingamajiggies. Um, so, and yeah, what props to get and stuff. So I'm going to show you what I decided on putting in this frame and why. And obviously this is KISS powered because I fly KISS and nothing else but KISS. Um, got nothing against the other guys, I just don't prefer how, uh, you know, better flight and emu flight and, you know, flight one and race flight and Falco X. I don't, it's just not for me. I prefer to fly KISS because the components are durable and reliable. Um, so yeah, let's do like a small unpacking here. So. Um, yeah, I decided. Well, I've got two props. Only I've only got two sets of props, um, so it's two different sets of props. One is uh, Cinerib Three HQ prop, durable prop. As uh, is the, I think it's it doesn't say, uh, but yeah, I think it's just the three by three by threes. See there, and this is the three by four by threes, also by HQ prop. Sorry, I can't get this focus right now and yeah i decided to go as i've been flying ethics motors for a long time i had a little bit of an issue of how soft ethics uh, start v2 motors are um but i think i maybe just had a bad batch because i ordered another bells and yeah they're holding up pretty well um and then yeah this is the this is the motors yeah i saw this on the uh so i'm just gonna line this up this is pretty sweet i saw it on ethics website <laughs> whoa this is pretty cool how you pack it. So it's a, it's a, f oh wait, 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 wait. This is the 1507 2800 kV flat rats motors by Ethics, and this is what I'll be putting on my Cinewhoop. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how 
How this motor is look. <laughs> I've never doubted the small little thing is in my life. Uh, this is cute, man. Damn, this is really sweet. So you check like a. It's hard to focus the camera right now. There's like a small rat little thingy. Sorry, I can't. Camera doesn't want to focus on the motor. But you can go over to Ethics website and you can check these motors out. It's pretty sweet. It's freaking slick, man. It's smooth. I must say. And like all the ethics motors are super smooth you know it's one thing silk v2 that's why like my favorite motors and yeah also another thing you will be getting inside um this is like a bag of hardware this is your screws and teeny weeny little prop nut thing right there and some extra screws there's a lot of screws in this little bag for one motor but oh well, that's what I got in the package, and yeah, I just want to make sure all four is here. <laughs> yeah. Good. Now here. So yeah, next let's move over to um, my whip. And yeah, this is this is the iFlight um, Bumblebee uh, Cine Whip Frame. You get the uh, HD version uh, loaded with the DJI um, components on the inside, um, but yeah, I didn't go for that setup as I wanted a KISS setup, because um, all my other quads are KISS. I've been flying KISS for the past two years now, almost two years now, and yeah, I, I'm not going to change to anything else, no matter what. Um, and yeah, I want to give a shout out to another friend of mine. Uh, he printed this one real quickly for me as this uh, session five real steady mounts. And yeah, the main reason I went for the Bumblebee is because it supports 30 by 30. They can check the KISS 4 and 1 ESC in the bottom. I'm going to up this, uh, open this up in a second for you. And yeah, these smart little prints, uh, so, you know, so I didn't, this, this comes included with the, uh, with the frame kit. Uh, you don't have to buy the, like the full kit to get all this stuff included. Uh, it's just really, 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 really neat, neatly printed. Uh, so you got your, um, it's like a bumper thingy here in the back, and you got another bumper thingy here in front, and yeah, really slick printed um, uh, ducts right here, and you got a top and a bottom flat, uh, top and a bottom plate uh, with really, really, really good carbon fiber. Um, I don't see this carbon fiber much different from any regular five inches carbon fiber uh, So it should be hard in this really nice feeling like What's this like foam? Um, around the ducts, you know from protecting you um, So yeah, what's up, dude? LB, how are you? Georgie? What's up, dude? <laughs> hope you guys are doing well and yeah, like I said, I chose this spray mainly because it supports 30 by 30, well 30.5 by 30.5 and I'm put, I've, inside I've got a KISS V2 fly controller um, with the uh, KISS 4 and one 25 m ESC and I'm going to be putting the FX RAT motors on there with HQ props. I don't know which one yet, I'm going to have to test and see what's, what's going to be the best for me. And then obviously uh, here is Session 5 in front. And yeah, in the back, I've got my uh, TVH Triumph trusty old fella right here. Um, I've been using these antennas for a very long time now, and yeah, I trust them. That's why I use them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to open this up uh, for you. Um, yeah, one thing uh, I can say, um, it's, it's a bit of a bugger. Like if you want to do something on the inside, you have to loosen up because it's got a lot of screws. It's... It, I must say it's really got a lot of screws um, where I've seen um, which one is it so like you can basically just loosen up your your top part now I can't remember which one was it um, it is the I can't remember I'm sorry um, but yeah but you know it's like uh, on my five inch quads um, I the maintenance I do on my quads very little, so I'm not very worried about uh, much about all of these, you know, 100,000 screws I need to take out of this frame. Well, it's a really cool frame, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I barely work on my quads. Um, most things I replace is bells. Um, I haven't broke one KISS fly controller yet. Um, I've broken two KISS fly controllers, so yeah, it's pretty much not an issue for me. So. It's quite, we're hoping it's going to be like my five inches almost maintenance free so yeah 
I'm gonna open this up for you guys quickly and I'm gonna show you what I put everything inside um, and how I put it on the inside um, I'm actually quite surprised of how much space is on the inside because you know as you know when, as soon as you hear like Cinewhip you know everybody thinks it's a small thing and I must say it's really quite spacious inside um, with the 4-in-1 ESC with the fire controller in I've got a full-size camera in here I squished it I had to like sh shave it down a little bit so bear in mind when you get one like this get yourself a, a like a micro camera because full-size camera you're gonna have to squish you're gonna have to modify your camera's casing in order for it to fit correctly into this frame so this is not made for full-size cam you have to modify that stuff yourself um, so yeah enough speaking like I said I don't want to make this like a super long video um, yeah because I'm kind of in a hurry to build this thing I've been planning this build for months now so I'm I'm really excited to get this thing flying get it in the air and get some cool footage man so yeah if you guys have any uh, uh, like any questions feel free to ask me um, I'm not going to be covering um, like the the build setup today although actually I'm only left to um, with one thing to do it's solder on motors um, I'm not gonna do that right now I forgot to pick up solder on my way home I was at work this morning um, so yeah I forget up I forgot to pick up um, some solder on my way to home when they called me and told me my package is at home I was over excited so I forgot about that <laughs> So I'm almost done opening up the frame. Like I said, there's a whole couple of screws you need to take out. So just bear with me, just for a couple more seconds, I'll be done. Got three more screws to take out. Two more, almost done. And this is the last one right so as soon as all your screws are out okay you can just lift up this whole top plate right here so let me count it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve twelve screws you have to remove um, so sweet and as soon as your this whole top plate just removes like that and you know I've got nothing uh, well I've got nothing strapped onto it um, so I'm gonna show you how's my layout um, currently in this frame so you can know as well when you're doing a build like this because this is gonna be a really cool build I know that for sure um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the ducts for you guys you know so I don't hide behind the frame the whole time and yeah I can show you from the side as well um, yeah, let me just take this duct off I'll show you how exactly how to assemble these ducts in the build video uh, so don't worry about that if this leaves you confusing and you know and stuff you can just check out my build video I will put up a post I almost broke my table I'll, well, I will put up a post about that so yeah this is how the ducts we can just slide them off um, you can just set them one side Yeah, it's, it sucks my um, my other video got taken off YouTube. I don't even know why. Um, I've sent YouTube an email and stuff. They have responded back to me. And yeah, they're not sure. They, they're not even self-sure why the video got removed. So there's no copyright stuff or anything in that. But yeah. So this is how my um, layout has been put. Um, if I may deliver one comment on this frame, uh, what would be really cool is if you can just add like a little thing here, you can, you know, maybe to the top plate, just like an extra standoff, you can just screw in from the top, you can zip tie, you know, this thing, you know, to that, just to keep it, you know, solid. You know, just one simple little thing you can do, maybe you can modify it yourself, because I'm probably going to do it myself. Move the camera back. Thanks, Georgie. Is that better, Georgie? <laughs> Alright, so 
um, as you can see here, what I put in well on this on this top print right here um, you get well this is obviously you can use this for the DJI antenna setup because it's got two holes to put your antennas through and it's got a slot there for uh, either a what's it XM plus free sky um, receiver or your crossfire nano se receiver uh, you can just slide it in there and on the bottom like right below it I've got the 800 milliwatt TBS Evo uh, VTX inside so yeah I'll be, I'm obviously gonna be flying bando with it you know because I like to fly bandos I'm not gonna do tricks and stuff with the thing it's just like some cool cinematic whatever um, and then what I did to to mount my uh, my stack I've got nylon um, standoffs you know I'm not gonna rip this thing real hard so I put through nylon standoffs and I just put in like small little spaces you know just to separate the the ESC from the carbon fiber you know want your ESC resting on top of carbon fiber uh, carbon fiber because it will create a fire and then I've got some white nylon standoffs right there um, separate the FC from the uh, from the ESC and then yeah that's about it it's it's a really really simple setup and it fits in like completely like a glove and yeah at the bottom so I've got my receiver mounted crossfire receiver mounted on the top right there and I just bend the antenna back and that's where my crossfire immortal T is sitting at um, so yeah dudes this is this is going to be my build I'm going to well directly after this video I'm going to start with my build video um, but I'll be doing some time lapsing and stuff you know because I like to take my time with the build you know I don't want to you know make like a 10 hour long video about it and yeah dudes um hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i'm, I'm really i'm super excited to get this thing flying man <laughs> i've been planning this build for a couple months now and yeah i finally managed to get it all together and in time and yeah yeah this is basically oh yeah one tip i can give you um what i did on the top plate because it's quite annoying uh when putting your lipo strap in because um, it keeps on slipping out I took two zip ties and I literally just put it around the center part around the center part you know on both sides of the lipo pad it's a really smart lipo pad thing you get with the frame as well um, so what you want to do is you go you know from the top obviously you just slide your lipo your lipo strap underneath and it stays in in place you know it's not going to you know as this is what it helps for as well when you're putting it won't go through because the zip tie obviously catches on to the lipo strip so you won't pull that piece through the whole time when I was busy setting up this thing I noticed that straight off the bat um, I do that on my five inches as well and yeah so let me get building this thing. I'm going to make a video for, to, uh, for you guys. I've already done the first part of the video. How I, you know, some close-ups and stuff. Um, whoa, some screws falling. Um, some close-ups and stuff. Um, and yeah, you can, you guys can have a lot closer look than on this video. Um, Cause my webcam's kind of crappy at the moment. I had another nicer webcam, but yeah, that thing's busted. Um, and yeah, so. I'll share some footage for you guys as well. Um, so yeah, dudes, I think this is really going to be a cool setup. Go out, get yourself one. Um, I'm going to leave a. I'm going to make another video of my first impressions uh, flying this thing. I'm going to do like a review video on the frame, how it flies, how it handles, and yeah, all those kind of stuff. So yeah, dudes, hope you guys enjoy. Um, just keep an eye on my channel if you haven't yet. Hit subscribe hit that bell button and yeah keep an eye out for my build video uh, itself and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me in the in the in the comment section um, and yeah see you guys hope you guys have a good one peace out cheers